Bonsai. Tell us what's in your mind right now. Emotion. I think a lot of emotion. Uh, it's more like um, it's a little bit different. I never thought uh, I feel like this. I knew it was going to be challenging, but I didn't have any idea it was going to be this way. It's really um, testimony to what, uh, how much love uh, my mother loved me because I. Excuse me. Sorry. I don't think I uh, could ever let my my son go to another country and never know that uh, if you ever see him again. So I think I feel about more about what my mother's feeling right now than actually how I feel. Just because I think because I'm just a tough, strong in a sense. But now. I feel my mother's love, what she has sacrificed for me, and that's what I'm feeling right now. It's it's the love of a child that you let go, and have a chance to never see him ever again, so they can have a better future. So that's what my emotions going through right now. That's probably the top of my head. What are you expecting from this journey? I would say uh, face anything that can hold you back in life and I'm hoping that uh, this is the part of my moment in my life that I have blocked out for so many years just because of uh, at that age you don't understand it because you have to grow up so fast I had to grow up at eight years old that's when I left my mother it's, so I'm hoping that they can closure from this find peace with this I would say that would probably the best word find peace and then not uh, and lead by example to my future family and to the community to friends that you can overcome anything if you set your mind to it so that's that's what I'm hoping and we we went right to the camp so we didn't have the options of seeing the city or anything like that we went right to the refugee camp so that's basically there, there was no tourist thing there was nothing it was just at the camp that's it I think we uh, we snuck in the middle of the night so we didn't cap we didn't get captured so I don't recognize anything at all tell the people of what the homes look like I mean they were really homes no, uh, from what I remember, it's a bamboo hut, literally just like you see in a out of third world movie concept. It's, it's bamboo. They just weed, roofing concept deals, and there was no running water. Uh, we just did well water, bucket water. That's one of the pictures that actually I posted on my Facebook, my profile pic. First picture in Laos when I came. It's, the reason I didn't smile because my teeth are yellow because of this, the well water. So that's where we drank our well water. The only time I sneak out was when my, much of my friends would go hunting at nighttime, try to get some food. You know, hunting for, for like anything that moved was protein because we were hungry, but that's the only time. What'd you guys hunt for? What'd you guys catch? Um, Anything you name it, from birds to snakes to fish, and we made a dam. You know, like how the, the big puddle, like a little river, whatever, about ten, eight feet wide. So we just blocked it out, 
and then each end we dump the water out. Whatever is moving inside, leftover, that's what we catch is it's food, protein. What'd you see? It's like a water tower. Yeah, I do remember the water tower. Yeah. So some of the pieces still here. The part that I remember is the bamboo hut, but that's all gone. It's all gone. It's completely disappeared. They, they took everything out except the fences. Yeah, I might remember this. I told you never. It's all gone. Okay. Okay, now I can remember. Okay. Okay, now I remember. These are the fences we snuck out.